China has unveiled a significant advancement in its military aviation capabilities, equipping its fifth-generation J-35 stealth fighter with the ability to carry the long-range PL-17 air-to-air missile within its internal weapons bay. This development, reported by Chinese defense sources in early 2025, enhances the aircraft's ability to conduct deep-strike missions while maintaining its stealth profile, the J-35, developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, represents a cornerstone of China's push to modernize its People's Liberation Army Air Force and Navy. Derived from the earlier FC-31 prototype, the J-35 is a medium-sized, twin-engine stealth fighter designed for both land-based and carrier operations. Its sleek design incorporates features typical of fifth-generation fighters, including a low radar cross-section achieved through edge-aligned surfaces, serrated paneling, and radar-absorbent materials. The aircraft's single ventral internal weapons bay, measuring approximately 7. 3 meters in length, is a critical feature that enables it to carry advanced munitions like the PL-17 without compromising its stealth characteristics. Powered by twin WS-19 turbofan engines, the J-35 is believed to offer super cruise capability, allowing it to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, enhancing its operational range and efficiency. The aircraft is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar, an electro-optical targeting system, and multiple infrared sensors, providing 360-degree situational awareness for pilots in high-threat environments. The PL-17 missile, the centerpiece of this new capability, is one of China's most advanced air-to-air -air munitions. Measuring 5.73 meters in length, the missile was previously thought to be too large for internal carriage on most Chinese fighters requiring external mounting that compromised stealth. However, recent reports indicate that the J-35 weapons bay can accommodate up to four PL-17 with foldable fins or two with fixed fins, a significant engineering achievement. The PL-17 is designed for beyond visual range engagements, with an estimated range of 300 to 400 kilometers. Equipped with an active radar seeker and inertial navigation, the missile can target agile and high-value platforms, such as AWACS and tankers, which are critical to maintaining an adversary's command and control in aerial operations. Its ability to receive mid-course guidance via data link further enhances its effectiveness, allowing the launching aircraft to remain passive and avoid detection. This new configuration was first highlighted in Chinese defense circles in early 2025, with sources like the South China Morning Post reporting on the J-35's internal carriage capabilities. The development builds on earlier sightings of the PL-17 on other platforms, such as the J-16 and J-10C, but its integration into a stealth fighter like the J-35 marks a significant leap forward. The J-35 can now engage distant targets while remaining nearly invisible to enemy radars, a capability that aligns with China's broader strategy of anti-access area denial in regions like the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. The integration of the PL-17, a missile designed to target high-value assets like airborne early warning and control aircraft, refueling tankers, and electronic warfare platforms, this capability, which allows the J-35 to penetrate enemy airspace undetected and strike critical targets from afar raises questions about the evolving balance of power in aerial warfare and the strategic implications for the United States and its allies. Historically, long-range air-to-air missiles have played a pivotal role in shaping aerial combat. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union's R-37M missile, carried by MiG-31 interceptors, was designed to target NATO AWACS and bombers at extreme ranges, disrupting their ability to coordinate operations. More recently, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has demonstrated the effectiveness of such systems, with Russian Su-35 fighters using the Ur-37M to engage Ukrainian aircraft from distances exceeding 200 kilometers. The J-35 ability to carry the PL-17 internally mirrors this tactical approach but adds the advantage of stealth, making it harder for adversaries to detect and counter. By targeting AWACS or tankers, the J-35 could cripple an opponent's situational awareness and logistical support, creating opportunities for follow-on strikes by other Chinese assets, such as the heavier J-20 stealth fighter or naval vessels equipped with hypersonic missiles. The J-35 appears tailored for air superiority and deep strike missions, with its larger weapons bay and longer-range PL-17 providing an edge in engaging high-value targets at extended distances.
The integration of the PL-17 into the J-35 also reflects China's emphasis on network-centric warfare, where aircraft, drones, and ground-based systems share data to enhance battlefield awareness. The J-35 is likely equipped with advanced data links that allow it to coordinate with platforms like the KJ-3000 AWACS or GJ-11 stealth drones, enabling the PL-17 to be guided to its target without the fighter activating its own radar. The J-35 could operate as a force multiplier, directing missiles to targets while remaining concealed in contested airspace. The J-35 ability to strike AWACS or tankers from long distances could complicate U.S. and allied operations in potential flashpoints like the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea. For example, neutralizing an E-3 Sentry AWACS or KC-46 Pegasus tanker would disrupt the U.S. Air Force's ability to coordinate fighter operations or sustain long-range missions, forcing reliance on less capable platforms or ground-based radars. This capability aligns with China's A-2AD strategy which seeks to deter or delay U.S. intervention in regional conflicts by creating a layered network of missiles, ships, and aircraft. The J-35 deployment on China's Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, confirmed in a 2025 Army recognition report, allowing the PLA Navy to project power far beyond its shores. China's investment in the J-35 and PL-17 also signals a broader technological competition with the United States. The J-35 integration of the PL-17 also draws parallels to other global developments. Russia's Su-57, for instance, can carry the K-77-meter missile, with a range of approximately 200 kilometers, but lacks the internal carriage capacity of the J-35. Similarly, the UK's Tempest program aims to field sixth-generation fighters with advanced missiles, but its timeline extends into the 2030s, lagging behind China's aggressive pace. These comparisons highlight the J-35 role as a bridge between fifth- and sixth-generation capabilities, blending stealth with long-range precision in a way that challenges existing air defense paradigms. Looking ahead, the J-35 and PL-17 combination marks a turning point in aerial warfare, compelling the U.S. and its allies to reassess their air superiority strategies. The ability to strike critical assets like AWACS or tankers from hundreds of kilometers away, while remaining stealthy, elevates the PLA Air Force's threat level in potential conflicts. As the J-35 begins patrolling contested regions, a lingering question remains, can the U.S. and its allies adapt quickly enough to counter this emerging threat, or will China's stealth revolution reshape the skies?